This is Life Transformation Radio. Prepare to engage. Seatbelt activated. Activated. Download initiated. Your quantum journey of transformation begins in 3, 2, 1. Welcome to Life Transformation Radio. Hi, I'm Rob Actis, best-selling author of The Law of Action, voice actor, business mindset coach, the podcast whisperer, and Mr. Action himself. Life Transformation Radio is heard in over 90 countries. Thank you for joining us from all around the world. So whether it's your first time joining us or you've been listening to Life Transformation Radio for some time, I want to personally thank you. Here at Life Transformation Radio, we are committed to share more about real life, love, the power of positivity, romance, and of course, laughter. We care about helping others find their internal drive and purpose. We celebrate life's challenges and overcoming them. Please rate, review, and subscribe to Life Transformation Radio on your favorite podcast platform. And be sure to listen to us live Mondays, what you're doing right now, and Wednesdays, with a special bonus episode on Thursdays, recorded live on Clubhouse. Also, a personal invitation for me to you. Please join us on Facebook in the Life Transformation Radio community. On this show, my guests are amazing people who are forces for good in the world around them and live a life of transformation. My guest today does just that. Today, Jamie McFadden and I discuss all things self-care, lifestyle, and oh, so much more. If you want to learn more about self-care, life's moments to grow together, and love the life you live, this is the show for you. Jamie has been in the fitness industry for the last 10 years. She started as a dance instructor for children and now has over 10 certifications. Free postnatal specialist. Oh, amazing. She's also co-written the Skinny Confidential's Bikini Guide, the number one audio-based app, Aptiv's free postnatal program, and so much more. Jamie, welcome to Life Transformation Radio. Why, thank you so much for the incredible introduction, Rob. I have to say, your voice is just sensational, and I am so excited to be here with you today on Life Transformation Radio. Thank you for having me, and I'm looking forward to this conversation. Absolutely. Me too. Okay, so the 800-pound 800 gorilla, 800 gorilla in the room, it's kind of funny. So Jamie says she loves my voice. And there's a funny story how we met and actually how I had Jamie in my life for like the past two years before she became in my, someone in my life like in the last two weeks. And it's really kind of funny. So once again, it all goes back to Clubhouse. We're in a room together. Jamie gets up on stage, loves what I'm laying down. She adds value to the room, and she just becomes an instant fan. And she realizes that my voice, where do you know my voice from, Jamie? From one of my favorite books. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah, Yes, The Miracle Morning. So I'm the narrator for Hal Elrod's The Miracle Morning audiobook. So she knows me from that. So I've been in her life for a long time. So here's the power of of the universe. It's so incredible. I believe so much in abundance and intention. And this is another example. The right people come into your life at the right time and magic happens. So I met Jamie in clubhouse. Then I sent her a message or she sent me a message or vice versa. And we communicated a little bit. However, I want you to understand one thing. When I purchased life transformation radio, I was thinking of the people that I wanted on the show. And I was thinking of the incredible people that I don't know, that I don't know, that I have no idea how I would ever get in contact with them, but I wanted them on the show. One of those was Jillian Michaels. I think she is such a badass. She goes by the beat of her own drum, and I just have a tremendous amount of respect for her. I have a 21-year-old daughter, and I love the example she sets for women. I just love that about her. So there's that. 
So then I find out after talking to Jamie for a little bit, I really like her voice. I'm like, God, I really like your voice. Da, 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 da. And then we talked a little bit more. And then I discovered, and I said it in the introduction, this is Jamie from the active iPhone app. For the last two years, I've been exercising to Jamie. Okay, what is it? Come on, give me the lingo. What do you say there? Hey, it's Jamie. <laughs> hey, it's hey, Jamie. Hey, team, it's Jamie. <laughs> and this is your 20-minute workout. I'm so excited to have you here. Hi, Rob. I'm I talking to you personally. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm so I'm flustered right now. So here's the funny thing. So I have been listening to Jamie and exercising with her on a daily basis through this app. And got to admit, had a crush on Jamie for a long time. Like everybody in my tribe knows, <laughs> oh, yeah, I was working out with Jamie this morning. And it was just really funny. And now – here you are on Live Transformation Radio. It's like, <laughs> this is like a dream come true. So thank you for being here. <laughs> well, it was like a dream. It was a mutual dream come true then because when I came onto that clubhouse room that day, I was just telling someone, I am the student, and when the student is ready, the teacher will appear. And I stumbled literally <laughs> upon your room, heard your voice, and I knew this is someone that I wanted to chat with. And I have to say, I was the one that reached out to you first and said, Hey, do you want to mentor me? I just started a podcast. Do you want to help me out? <laughs> so it's a, it's amazing. And I did. I how, sent you a voice. I know. Back. Yeah. And you said, I sure would. Yeah. So here we, here we are I now said, yeah, I went. chatting it up on your radio show. This is incredible. This is wonderful. Is. You I am really, so, so people are listening. I'm yeah, people so are listening going, okay, God, it's like old home week for Rob and Jamie. Come on. Seriously. So, <laughs> But I just wanted to share with you because the universe is so powerful and intention. It wasn't 24 hours from when I declared that I was going to create an opportunity for me to connect with Jillian Michaels that you showed up in that room on Clubhouse. Like that's how fast no the universe works. Absolutely. No, there isn't. So mm -hmm. I'm Jamie's fangirl. She's my fangirl. And it's just, it's so great. And she is so incredible. So let's talk about you. So, You've been in the fitness industry for the last 10 years. That's a long time. Yes, and I, I have to admit, it's maybe even been a little bit longer. I probably have to update that. But uh, I got into the industry because at 18 years old, my dad unexpectedly passed away. And he was my oh, best friend. He was my everything. And it was just heart-wrenching in every which way. And I remember thinking to myself, okay, let's dive into this a little bit. What happened? I always like to solve the mystery per se, and I couldn't understand the message of the mess that I was faced with. And at one moment it dawned on me, I grew up in an environment where my father had battled addictions for a very long time, and he was very functioning in the nicest, kindest, most energetic, beautiful person, and yet deep down, like many, he battled his own demons, and at one point, it got too far. So I remember thinking that, you know, 18, 19 years old, very depressed and down, you know, lost my best friend, and I'm thinking, how, how the heck am I supposed to feel happy now? I'm going into college, and I just, I, I fell into a dark place, and... I realized that the only way I was going to get out was to get through. And the only way I was going to get through was to keep going. And so all of a sudden. I love that. The only way you're going to get out <laughs> is to get through. Like that's powerful. <laughs> yeah. And it, and it sucked. It totally sucked. I remember the days I was crying and mind you to anyone that's listening right now, I grew up in a half Greek and half Irish family where every weekend, not, not every weekend, every day is a party. And there's so much joy and beauty in that. There is also so much of an abundance of food and a lot of the times an unhealthy relationship to food. There's also addictions that run rampant throughout the family. We have, you know, between diabetes, congestive heart failure, among many other things, I check all the boxes whenever I go to the doctor. So growing up this way, I didn't realize that maybe a change was ready to be made, not just for myself, but within my own family and then to spread the word. Now, after this happened, 
it took a while. It was not an overnight transformation. It was actually a, quite a long transformation. I had ups and downs. And like I said, I just kept telling myself, if I ever want to do something different and grow from this terrible experience of losing the person I love the most, then I need to take care of myself. And that's really how it stems. It's like, okay, I got to, I got to start, you know, start within. And, uh, and one of my favorite So were you quotes trying to be the, the guiding oh, light? Were you trying to be the guiding light? Like I'm going to be the example for the family. Was that yes. the mindset that it, you had? It was, yes. And it was, it was something that was so deep within. I felt as a child at four or five years old, I can vividly remember. I used to think that I was going to work with Jack LaLanne and Dick Van Dyke and, um, uh, I was going to have a TV segment like Mr. Rogers and I was going to influence people in a way that was really healthy. But this is me at four and five and six years old. I, I, I didn't understand that the capacity. is amazing. <laughs> like, let me tell you how amazing that is because look what you do right now. You do that. It's kind of like, cool. You do that. But here, but here's the thing why that's so cool. Because you think, I don't know how, you know, you're th- saying to yourself, well, that is not realistic or whatever, but check it out. Four years old, I stood in front of the family after watching Gary Owens on Laugh-In, and he says, you know, why from downtown Burbank? And I turned around and I said, I want to talk on TV. And how in the world at four or five years old did I know what that was? And look what I do for a living now. <laughs> It is really the power of our internal voice is so incredible when we listen to it. And I think genuinely for anyone that's listening right now, we all have that voice deep within us and we cloud ourselves so often with life's busyness or the confides of, you know, the limiting beliefs that we tell ourselves or that someone has told us and we hold on to. And you know, it's taken me many years of multiple struggles and trials and tribulations and lots of getting knocked down to get to the point where I, I really realized that voice deep within at four and five years old. And now having a four-year-old, I mean, when she says something, I listen. I'm like, girl, we are writing this down and we are doing this, whatever it is. So yeah, for anyone that's listening, you know, just that the power of that internal voice and learning how to turn it on and then... The reality is because I remember at 18, 19, thinking, okay, I've got to be the change. How the heck am I going to be the change when I was in a state of depression? It didn't make sense in that moment. At the same time, I believed deep down that I could do it. And that deep down belief led me to coaches, therapy, all different elements of getting support. And so I'm a big believer in support of all types. And, Absolutely. Uh, yeah, and so from there, over the years, uh, I also have been a very ambitious human being just by nature. I like, uh, you know, really going to find the end of the rainbow and actually taking the time to really get to the end of the rainbow. So I'm not afraid to take chances. I'm not afraid to take risks. And uh, sometimes I've done some that I've learned from, and other times I've succeeded. So when it came to getting into the fitness industry, I was a flight attendant. I was not in great condition physically, and uh, I just decided I'm going to put myself to the test. I'm going to see if I can get myself in really good shape. So the way I did that was I was inspired by people like Jillian Michaels, and I said, you know, I'm going to put myself into a fitness contest. And at that time, I was probably 21 or 22, and I went into a fitness contest, I failed. I think I, there's 16 places. I got place 16, and they told me my butt was too big and I had too much you know, fat on my body. But the determination that I had throughout the 12 weeks that I prepped for it was just unbelievable. And that experience alone showed me my resilience, my grit, and my determination that even though I oh, lost yeah. in the eyes of the judges, in fact, I won. And I won – in more, more ways than I can count, I ended up being featured in a magazine. I ended up, um, you know, getting connected to people like Jillian Michaels. I ended up getting clients and really ultimately started a business doing fitness and helping people make that kind of physical transformation. So, you know, I think, leading, I think yeah, that people get so 
caught up in the end result like the finish line, mm-hmm. the, the ultimate mm-hmm. goal, that, that they miss the journey. Yeah. You know, you, but you took action, and you placed 16th out of 16. However, you still were in action, and you got a great result. And people, everybody, a lot of people think that you have to be first. You don't, mm-hmm. because if you're 16th mm-hmm. at one time, and then you go back and, and reassess and readjust and do it again, then maybe you're tenth. And then you go back and you readjust and then maybe you are first. Right. And that's that's essentially what happened on my journey. And it was great because as I did the fitness contest, I was under the belief uh, and looking back now, I just want to hug my sweet, you know, twenty two year old self that thought everything was as it seems. And I remember thinking, you know, this is how I'm going to get so healthy. This is how I'm going to be the change. And lo and behold, I didn't realize how many people were either taking, you know, not approved supplements or different things and all sorts of stuff that it made me realize, wow, this isn't even an authentic way that they're doing this. It's not even real. This is not what I believe in. This isn't why I'm doing it. And so, you know, to each their own and I – I'm still heavily fascinated by what we're capable of in our human body and, and, you know, the body mechanics that things we can do. However, it made me realize that isn't the route that I wanted, but had I not tried it, had I not gone into it, I wouldn't have ever really known. And then that led me to realize the power of the mental shift and then diving deeper into the mental health, the mental wellness, the spiritual wellness, the connection, the support, and then it really triggered me to say, you know what, we are all connected. I do believe we are all connected, just like you and I, you know, from the beginning of this conversation, we are all connected. And I remember my mom telling me at a young age, don't ever be afraid to talk to anyone. So it doesn't matter if it's the president, it doesn't matter if it's someone walking by on the street. And my father had written a song all about saying hello to everyone that my whole life he would sing this song and I, now my daughter knows it and we sing it all the time, but it's just a song that's all genuinely about making an impact by just whether it's a wave or saying hello to every single person you ever want to, or you walk by or you see, or you want to see. And I remember I was nervous to reach out to someone like, yeah, I was nervous to reach out to someone like Jillian Michaels because I was new to the fitness industry. Um, I, I wasn't a recognizable name and uh, I had maybe only gotten in, featured in one or two little magazine articles somehow, some way, but I thought I'm determined. I'm going to meet her. I put her on my vision board. She was on my vision board. And then that year I ended up going to a fitness event and I met someone who knew her somehow, some way. And I said, I'll do anything to just thank her. I just want to thank her because she was a catalyst to change my life. And I knew, you know, there's a million people wanting to say that to her, but I thought, I'm just going to ask. And I happened to be, you know, at the right place at the right time and asked the right person. And I was able to get granted access to just go say thank you to her. And I did. And she looked at me when I very first met her and I was so excited. And she looked at me and said, how are you feeling, kid? I said, I'm feeling great, really great. And uh, I thanked her and asked her to take a photo and she said, all right, cool. I, I like your heart. You've got heart. She said, how do you feel today? You feel good? Good. I'm putting you on stage with me. And uh, I went oh, on stage gosh. with her, and, a, <laughs> and she led a workout. I had no clue what we were going to be doing, and there was about 500, maybe more people in the room at this huge event. And after the event, I was on cloud nine. I felt genuinely like your dreams can come true, and it was just such an actionable moment that I'll never forget. And then she said to me, I'm going to have my manager call you. I'd love you to be in a video. And I thought to myself, okay, I've lived in L.A. before. I've heard these kind of things. You know, I didn't, I didn't want to feel right. jaded like it wouldn't happen. But at the same time, I was real, I've been realistic in my life. So I thought, okay, all right, cool. Uh, and sure enough, two or three days later, I got a phone call, asked to come down to L.A. for an audition, auditioned landed an opportunity to be in one video, which led to hundreds of videos 
and uh, got to work on, alongside of her for five years as one of her master trainers, training other trainers. And it was one of the most incredible experiences of my life. So it just goes that, yeah. I mean, that's one moment, that's one thing. And I just, she is an incredible human being that has such an impact and an influence in so many ways. And I'm honored that I've been able to make that connection. That's outstanding. You know, think for a moment. A lot of people, they're afraid to ask because, oh, well, right. she'll just decline me. Okay, so you've already had your biggest fear happen, and it's not because it happened. It's because you didn't give it the opportunity to not happen. So right. people let fear stop them, and they don't ask. And so imagine for a moment if you didn't have, you know, the the fearlessness to go up and say hello and to offer value and to really come from your, your heart and that you didn't want anything. All you wanted to do was give to her to let her know of the impact that you had on her life and look mm -hmm. how you're rewarded for that. Yeah, it's pretty amazing. In fact, it's led me to be fearless in any other pursuit, but also I think there's so much value in speaking our truth and also thanking the people in our lives that have shown up even when they don't even know it. Because at the end of the Absolutely. day, we are all, we are all souls in my humble opinion, having a, uh, or we're all spirits having a human experience here for a short period of time. And, you know, being able to, I'm looking right now, actually at, I have vision. I have an entire vision wall at my house right now. And I'm laughing because people joke around about me saying, oh, Jamie, you have this witching power that you put these things on a board and they come true. And I'm like, well, there's there's not there, – you could say that if you want to say that, but there's not really a, a bewitching power. It's that – it's the power of, like with you, taking a Mr. Action. It's the power of taking those steps every single day that will lead you somewhere. And you may not know exactly where you're going, and it may take you somewhere else than you expected, but – if you can continue to grow where you're planted, wherever that may be, and keep watering the seeds and, you know, embracing the sunshine, those moments of sunshine in life, and knowing that, as my grandma's always said, flowers, all flowers will grow through the dirt. So even through the tough times, even when you get turned down or you get let go or you get disappointed or you let yourself down, which will happen, just continuing to put one foot in front of the other. And that's, I mean, it's interesting because now so many years later, uh, just this last year, I created an entire self-care program for Jillian Michaels app. And now I've created multiple programs within self-care and mom and family health programs across the board. And, and that in and of itself is just, it's just such a beautiful way to sh that goes to show that listening to that little voice inside of us, you know, and I'm looking at my daughter right now who's four, that voice really is telling us something. And if we can embrace it throughout our life and nurture it and love it and watch it grow instead of being shut down by life, because sometimes that, and that can happen too. And I think giving ourselves the grace, you know, the time that I went through losing my dad, becoming a single mother, losing my job, I've had trials and tribulations. It hasn't all been, you know, this beautiful roses all the right. time, but I actually think, I think the shadow work, you know, the challenges are really what shape so much of who we are. And that, I embrace and that. Absolutely. Absolutely. You know, it's amazing. So imagine for a moment, like this would kind of blow your mind. So you decided to meet her. You plan to meet her. And then there she is. And you're like, I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. And you just said, you know what? I can't do it. And imagine what your life might look like today had you not broke through your fear and said hello. Like, wow. I know. I know. But it is. Hey, it goes back to that song that my dad taught me, the Hi to You and Hi to Me song. It really, letting go of that. fear. Yeah, letting go of the fear of that because you also never know where your journey is going to take you. And as long as you're being true to yourself, and listening to that voice inside, and really, I think also taking action. I mean, self-care by definition is all about taking the actions to preserve or yeah. to improve 
our own health. And that's, you know, it's been a buzzword now, but it's not just about uh, your nutrition and your exercise. Yes, those are big components, but sometimes it's about doing the things that scare you. Sometimes it's about facing your own mirror. Sometimes it's about doing the shadow work. Sometimes it's about getting your finances in order or, you know, whatever it may be. There's so many areas in our life that we can work towards growing better so that then we can, I believe, help each other, you know, and continue to learn yeah. from one another. So, so yeah, it's, uh, it's just an incredible journey that we are on. And I, I'm so happy to be on this show today. It feels really great. It's interesting because I'm usually on the other end asking the questions and I'm laughing right now. Cause I'm like, Oh, it's kind of fun to talk about this stuff. So thank you. <laughs> Absolutely. So one of the things that I was told a long time ago is, you know, I was married and I was a sole provider of my family. And as a voice actor, I'd always be in really good shape. So I didn't yell. I didn't smoke. Mm-hmm. I got a lot of sleep, probably a lot of sleep. I tried to eat as healthy as I could <laughs> because I had to be able to be able to perform when I needed to perform. And I was doing national TV commercials. And when you walk in that booth, they don't care what's going on in your life. You need to right. deliver because – they're paying you big bucks. And so Mm -hmm. my voice coach at the time told me, he said, Rob, here's the deal. You're a Ferrari and you need to explain to your wife that you're a Ferrari. And what that means is you have special requirements. You're a high performance, high intensity, high caliber performance machine. And you need to be in that state and it takes maintenance. So you need your rest. You need calm. Mm-hmm. You need to be able to take time to go on walks by yourself and have creative time. You need to be able to meditate. You need to eat good food. You need to stay relaxed. And you need to stay healthy. And that dives into self-care. And it was hard for my now ex-wife to understand that. Now, my new wife, Tanya, she's all about that. She's all about self-care. Mm-hmm. And, she, you know, she calls me her little diva. I mean, you know, she goes, what are we going to do this weekend? I said, <laughs> we're going to have a spa day. Um, we're going to go to the spa and we're going to get massages. And then after that, we're going to go get pedicures and manicures. And we're going to go sit in the infrared sauna because we're Ferraris and we Mm -hmm. need to do that self care. So every Sunday morning we go to the spa and a lot of people like that's kind of extravagant. I go, do you realize you have one body, one body? Mm -hmm. That's it. And and you can either, you know, pay, pay now or pay later. And if you invest in good quality mattress, good quality food, invest time, which is money to a lot of people, into exercising mm-hmm. and meditation time and downtime, then you don't have to do the pay later. The people that are in the hospitals and stuff, they're the ones that have led a sedentary lifestyle. They have not taken care of themselves. They have not, not made their health a priority. You know, it's, it's easy to just sit, and I hear this all the time, it drives me nuts, is I don't have time to exercise. Mm-hmm. However, I do have time to watch eight hours binge of <laughs> friends or eight hours binge of stranger things. Or, you know what I mean? It's, it's all Absolutely. about balance. And where you put your priorities, I want to be healthy. I'm in my 50s. I want to be freaking healthy. My mom just turned 94 last weekend. 94 years old. Wow, happy birthday. That is incredible. Yeah, they just recently took her driver's license away. I mean, I'm talking months. Like, seriously, 93 years old, the woman's driving. It was so incredible. (laughs) She's very independent. (laughs) It's incredible and slightly scary. No, I'm just kidding. No, no it's very my grandma just turned scary. ninety and, and same yeah no same kind of thing. My grandmother who is ninety years young and she's got more vitality on her little finger than many people uh, that I've worked with. And it's interesting because a lot of it really does come from within. You know, when it comes to self care, although it's a big buzzword that gets tossed around and then also has a bad rap sometimes of oh, you know, I don't have the the money or I don't have the time. And just like you said, one of my other mentors, I've been blessed to work with some really incredible 
people in the world. And one of the people I always wanted to work with, I never got to work with him specifically, but I got to work with his wife and still do is Jack LaLanne. And, um, one, you know, one of his I quotes was Jack always, you know, Oh my God. Me too. So I, met, Lala, I his, met Jack LaLanne. His wife. I met him. Oh yeah. He is. I met Jack LaLanne. You met LaLanne. him? I did. Oh. He was in an event in San Diego. I met Jack LaLanne, and I was in radio in San Diego, and I met Jack LaLanne again. I've met him wow. three or four times in my life, and he's so great. Wow. I'm sorry, but I was a little yeah. kid. I used to watch him on TV. To tell you old I am, it was actually in black and white, but I loved his one-piece jumpsuit, his exercise. Oh, my gosh. Dude, it was, I just, so I – so I have to I love Jack LaLanne. I love – same. So I used to watch reruns of the show that my, my grandmother had – on VHS and wow. and then eventually I got the DVDs of them because I just was really I mean I guess you could say I was obsessed I just was obsessed with I loved him so much from a very young age uh, they would call it oh the old soul Jamie but I just I, I knew he was dropping so much wisdom and it's interesting because he would always say invest in yourself now so you can reap the dividends day after day and month after month and year after year and, you know, he's yeah. the one that on his 70th birthday swam from Alcatraz to inland San Francisco towing 70 boats with 70 people shackled, and they were attached to his mouth. Like, that's unbelievable. And I look at someone like that, oh, and that just ass. goes to show – yeah, and that just goes to show what we're capable of. So, you know, I spent uh, – truthfully, I spent a chunk of my life – where I was completely lost. I was very stuck. I, I battled with depression. Um, I, I was an insomniac, sugarholic. I did not eat well. In fact, I used to eat a pound of bacon a day. I used to eat a pint of ice cream and, and more pizza than you could imagine. And interestingly enough, Okay, what's wrong then, with that? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What's, what's wrong with eating a pound da- of bacon a day? Daily? I, I mean, it's, <laughs> daily? it's bacon. I mean, so... <laughs> Sorry. I, I don't eat a pound of bacon. No. I love bacon. And I'm just like, oh, yeah. it's bacon. I mean, it's like, oh, yeah. it's bacon. No, of course. So I mean, look at, there's, there's books written on it. And there's all, so I, I, the, where I'm at now, my, my point is this, is we all start somewhere. And whoever's listening, right. meet yourself where you're at today. It's not where I'm at. It's not where Rob's at. It's not where Jacqueline or Jillian Michaels or your most inspirational human being that you look up to is. Meet yourself where you're at today. And start to define, bring the awareness to whatever it is that you know. We know there's areas in our life that we want to change, that we need to make a change. And start to think of it as like a ladder and pick a goal, one goal. Think of one area of self-care. You know, you, maybe it's like for me, a busy working mom, okay? Maybe you want to make more time to relax. So your goal would be relaxation at the top of that ladder and be as specific as possible. I want to relax by having a spa day every Sunday for at least an hour to myself. Okay, go down the list, down that ladder of what you need to do step by step and make that list, write it down, look at, okay, I got to hire a babysitter. That means I got to have the money to hire a babysitter. Then I got to make sure I've got my mask or I'm going to the spa. Then I make my appointment. Then I have to make sure I do this and I do that and make all the different steps all the way down to the bottom, that base of the ladder. And then, begin slowly just with that one area start to take those little steps and lo and behold I, I see this every day it's interesting to me that we live in a world in a, in a country I'm going to say the United States because this is a country where we have access to amazing water and yet mo- most of us many of us are dehydrated and we forget to drink water or we don't like water or whatever it is right now there's so I'm drinking a spin drift right now that's like can they sponsor me I love this water but Water is one of the, it's so interesting when I talk with my clients about self-care and I'm talking, you know, whether it's a big high powered CEO of a company or even a stay at home mom or even a celebrity, the element of water is something that a lot of the times can be a really key element in their self-care where they know, oh man, I really need to start drinking more water. So just as something as simple, and when I talk about this with our goals, as one extra glass of water per day, just one or one extra vegetable or one five minute walk outside, whatever it may be when it comes to your self-care. And that's the thing too, is we all get to define what self-care means to us based on taking action to preserve or improve your health. Think today of one area that you can start with. And I always tell everyone, reach out to me on active. I can't even tell you how many 
direct messages I get, and I do my best to respond to everybody and make the time and the effort to acknowledge what one is doing because I know it's tough. I've been there. I, I still have days where it's very challenging. This morning earlier I was hosting a podcast and my daughter was painting all over herself and the walls and the floors, and, you know, it's a juggle. It's the juggle of life. But we all have the same 86,400 seconds every single day and it's really a, a going to come down to what we do with those seconds. And not always they're going to go the way we plan. Absolutely not. But if we can learn to continue to grow where we're planted and to take care of ourselves, then we can take care of everybody else better too. And I think that's another misconception I hear. It's like, oh, I got to take care of this. My, you know, my husband, my kids, my this, my that. Okay, well, then ask yourself, how are they going to be doing when you're not well? That's it. And I think it does, yeah, especially, just, you know, it's like having to put that harsh reality, but it's true. You know, mom's days is coming up and, or mom, mother's day. And, you know, mom's out there, I got to tell you, I'm, I'm going to tell you right now. And you have to take care of yourself first before you can take care of others. It's like, yeah. put your oxygen mask on first before you put it on your chest. Mm-hmm. You have to. Yep. And, you know, unfortunately, um, a lot of women, uh, feel that they don't get to take care of themselves because they take care of everybody else. And no, it's the opposite way around. You need to be taking those spa days. And men, you need to pay attention to that. You need to support your women, your partners, to have that time off. Because Absolutely. They, they, they so deserve it, as you do, and it's important. You know, you can pay now or you can pay later. And 100%. paying later is a lot more expensive. Like, I don't have the money to go to a gym. Okay, great. You can do exercise, even as simple as the Aptiv app. I mean, I got in really good shape mm-hmm. just by having Jamie tell me what to do. It's great. You know, <laughs> and you don't need the fancy, fancy stuff if you have the ability to get the, you know, the bikes and, and the trikes and, and the rowers and, and the, the mirrors and all that other stuff. Great. You don't need it. It can be as simple right. as just squatting or doing sit-ups or crunches or my favorite planks or I don't know. They're my, oh, I my love favorite planks. planks too. I'm just, actually, I'm holding, I'm actually holding a reverse plank right now while we talk because it just feels really nice. Three bad <laughs> I've become Jillian Michaels, <laughs> Jack LaLanne, Jamie McFadden. Oh my gosh. Look at you. And here yeah. I am sitting in a comfortable chair. I, what, what about that? So it's really important that you put on there love, the life you live, I say live every day like you want to be alive. Is that a hundred percent? And I couldn't agree with you more on that. Yes. We, you know, have trillions of cells within our body that continuously are replenishing themselves. And if we can adopt the mentality within ourselves to love ourselves and love this life, because it is not guaranteed. And every moment, every breath you take, every second, even, and I mean this, you know, after someone, I I tell you right now, I've been through some stuff, man. And when I look back now, I just, I want to hug that, that girl. I want to say, you know, you're going to be okay. And a lot of the times that brings me to the element of support. And I, I have to hone in on that one more second because there is support all over the place if you ask for it and if you look for it. And a lot of moms that I know have an issue, and and dads as well, um, of feeling guilty to ask or feeling like they need to do it all themselves or being conditioned that um, you're weak if you ask or, you know, that's not okay or you can't afford it. There is help when you reach out, and whether it be your family, your friends, your coworkers, someone in your community, your neighbor, genuinely ask for help because guess what? Someone wants to help you. And the same goes for, and this is why I do what I do every day of my life, I want to help someone else. If I can help one person every single day of my life to have that moment of going, yeah, I am worth it. Yeah, I should take that five minutes. You know, I'm going, I'm booking a massage, whatever it is. Do the things that you know you need to do that make you feel good so that then you have more of an abundant cup to continuously be filling in other people. And if we can all just adopt a little bit of that every day, I truly believe day in and day out, the world will continue to become a more beautiful place. 
Boom. Mike drop for Jamie McFadden, ladies and gentlemen. We did it. We covered life movements to grow together. That self-care, yeah, you're worth it. And to love the life you live. Okay, Jamie. If someone wants to reach you, do they just go to your website, jamiemcfadden.com? They can go to jamiemcfadden.com or they can access me on Instagram and the DM at Jamie McFadden. And it's J-A-I-M-E and one D, M-C-F-A-D-E-N. Or you can do what I did and connect with her on Clubhouse at <laughs> Jamie McFadden. Oh, yeah. She's in a lot of my rooms. I think she's kind of like stalking me, but yay! <laughs> <laughs> oh well thank you so much for having me rob this is wonderful and uh, i truly appreciate what you're doing absolutely thank you thank you thank you and thank you so much for your support and taking time out of your busy and precious day to listen to us here on life transformation radio we so appreciate it thank you for allowing me along with my very special guest jamie mcfadden to touch your heart move your soul and inspire you to live a life of transformation. I'm Rob Actis. Until next time. This is Life Transformation Radio. Download complete. <laughs>